everyone knows about Sochi, the town in which the Olympic Games 2014 take place. In this little clip you are going to hear and see about the disaster situation in Sochi and the corrupt system of Russia which stands behind. The story of Sochi began in 2007 when Russia won the candidate for the Olympic Games. The other countries which campaigned were Austria and South Korea. President Putin told the IOC the International Olympic Committee that Russia would invest at least 9 billion US dollars in the Winter Games, which should take place in 2014. These 9 billion dollars meant that Sochi was meant to be the most expensive Olympic Winter Game of all the time. And that's what Russia said in 2007. Russia won even though there was no infrastructure to use in 2007 and everything had to be built in 5 years. Another point is that Sochi is located in a subtropical climate, the very first Olympic Winter Games in such a climate where it's usually warm, skiing at the beach with the sun shining on one's body. Anyway, somehow Russia won the candidature also because of the smaller financial budgets from Austria and South Korea. Now we know more, Sochi definitely is the most expensive Olympic Winter Game Ever. It costs between 40 and 50 billion dollars. Here's a little comparison to the last five events. Norway, 10 years ago, cost about one and a half billion dollars. Japan, four years later, was a little bit cheaper. The investments did increase until Vancouver, around 8 billion dollars. Another four years later, 50 billion dollars. And who pays for the best Olympic Games ever? Putin? His friends? No. For the biggest part, it's the population of Russia who pays. The people who didn't agree with the billion project were threatened and actually put to jail. No one of the government wanted to have bad news about their amazing project. These days a man who is a criticizer of Sochi was put in jail for 15 days because he used dirty words in public. And far the worst is his lawyer wasn't allowed to the court. These facts are also the reason why WWF, Greenpeace and even an environmental organization from the UN didn't act. They were literally scared of getting serious problem with the Russian government. Another big problem which showed up is that the Olympic Park should have originally been set in a wildlife sanctuary, what would have been illegal those days. So what did Putin do to realize his games anyway? There's just one possibility. He had to change the law. Then that's exactly what he did. Now the Olympic Park for the disciplines like skiing and boarding take place in a national park where many animals and plants used to live. Today 400,000 people live in Sochi. They now have sports stadiums which have a capacity of 80,000 people. This means every fifth person has to go from now on to the sports stadium to keep it filled. Now think about how these constructions will be used. They will be unused. That's the truth. And all the hotels which were built, the railway wrecks and the highways which cost around 7 billion dollars, the ski resort, they were built for exactly two weeks to show the world that Russia is a big, rich and strong country. And this quote brings it all to the point. The Olympic Games aren't about sports, they are about politics, power, strength and money. How can these goals of nowadays Winter Games be compatible with those of the one-time Olympic Games? The principles of the Olympic Games actually are non-discrimination, what means that nationality, age, sex and sexual orientation don't play a role. But as you know, Russia is a homophobe country and the situation of the human rights is controversial. Russia decided in 2013 that people who are in Russia are not allowed to talk gay friendly in front of children, because that could be bad for the children's psyche. Anyway, how can a country that is completely homophobe and ignores human rights be the scene of the Winter Olympics? The Olympic Committee and Russia are exactly the opposite of each other. To summarize, around 50 billion dollars were spent for two weeks for Putin's games to show the world great Russia. Therefore humans were bad treated, a wildlife sanctuary was destroyed and all had to be paid by the Russian population. To sum up, I'd like to say that Olympic Games are not what they should be. They should be about sports, not about money and not about politics. 
people, thanks for watching. If you liked it, write and let other people know about the truth about Sochi. If you're interested in other clips like this one, subscribe on YouTube, Google Plus and Twitter.